Good morning. It is Monday, April 25th, 2022, and I hope you're having a great day. Welcome to my home. This is my home office, my actual house where I work every single day. And we are up here for a very special reason. We are starting a new series today that in addition to our three videos per week, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, we are starting daily videos, giving one real estate tip for investors per day. They will only be about a couple minutes and there'll be one take. We'll see what they look like, but I think it'll really help to get people on board with real estate investing. If you're an experienced investor, maybe it will help you grow your business. So if that sounds good to you, then let's get started. I'm excited. Today's real estate investing tip of the day is about three things to review when you get your mortgage documents. No one is perfect. While there are a lot of stipulations and controls a mortgage broker must abide by, uh, they can make mistakes. They're not perfect. They're humans. So here are three items uh, amongst many things that you should check for accuracy when you get your mortgage documents. Number one, identification of participants. Who is in sale? Make sure your names are spelled correctly, that the correct people who should be named are named. And if that's messed up, it will really put the sale back some time while the bank fixes its errors. And no one wants that, of course, because things can happen in that time and you don't want something to happen to the property that you want to add to your portfolio. So check it for accuracy. Make sure you're good. Number two, property description. Uh, there should be a proper legal description in the documents of the property in question. Many forms include a statement that names the property, but also anything permanently attached to it and all of your rights as a borrower. So make sure it's all correct. And third, check that property taxes are spelled out correctly and the terms surrounding them are accurate. Whether you as the borrower, for example, have to pay a certain percentage with each payment or whether they won't be included in the mortgage at all, that's all stuff that's spelled out in the documents, but it's very easy to get wrong. And again, this is a long-term commitment, getting a mortgage, and you don't want it to be incorrect for the <laughs> span of the deal. So there you go. So that's the all for today. Uh, I will be here same time, same place tomorrow for our next real estate tip for investors. In the meantime, check out mashpfizer.com, an investment platform that helps you find and analyze properties across the country. And I will put a link to a seven-day free trial in the description below. I'll see you tomorrow.